Around matters education, the government has no intention of increasing the education capitation allocation, which currently stands at 25.9% of the country's budget. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor Judge Magoha is calling for prudent use of available funds, saying the budget is constrained until the new government finds means of raising more funds. <laughs> Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha was in Kisi County launching phase two of the competency-based curriculum classrooms at the senior chief Musa Nyandusi Mixed Secondary School in Kageti Ward, Kisi Central Sub-County. My instructions are very clear from His Excellency the President, are very clear that we ensure that there is prudent use of the money that we are given. Magoa urged contractors of CBC classrooms in the area to fast track completion of the infrastructure as they were lagging behind other counties, some of which are at 100% completion. Can we just have a children's political party where we agree that we shall con complete the buildings? But by the time we leave, the 10,000 classrooms are there. The cabinet secretary faulted those criticizing the Ministry of Retaining Textbook Funds, confirming the government was providing the books to learners on a ratio of one to one. I also hear a little bit of noise that we are retaining uh, textbook money. Of course we are retaining textbook money because we are providing textbooks at the ratio of one to one. What people should be asking us is, are books in schools. Magoa had earlier visited Tambacha COD Day and Boarding Mixed Secondary School in Mirani Sub-County where he commissioned two CBC classrooms and gave 20 computers to the school. For Lunchtime News, I'm Cheryl Abade.